Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where mishaps can lead to adventures. A while ago, I started out by making a tunnel driller and had a misfortune of measuring the drill levels incorrectly. Then over time, I'd allowed that drill to continuously dig down to the center of the earth, not realizing it actually make it there. Today, we're gonna see exactly what it took for it to get there in the first place. First, I'm setting up a beacon so we can measure the distance accurately. You can see on the screen that in front of the beacon, it's so many meters away, it's kind of hard to read, but we'll check it periodically. From here, it's about 30 meters, and this is the tunnel where my tunnel drilling machine started out. As you can see, it did start digging all the way down. Once we enter the tunnel, we should be able to see more of its path. Well, let's get started. At first, it's just kind of a curved drop off as gravity continued to pull it downward. But then suddenly it goes straight down as gravity pulled it towards the center. Right now I'm actually traveling downward instead of just dropping or free falling because it does jumble the camera quite a bit. I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth. So instead, I'm just going to go in first person view and use my jetpack in order to get through here. Now that we're in the tunnel, there's more of a clear picture of how long this actually goes. From the top where we started, all the way down there where that dot is. That's where we're going to be heading. It's approximately 60,000 meters. On certain parts of this, I did speed up the time to two and a half the rate. That way you don't have to spend an entire 45 minutes just trying to get to the core but it does take quite a while. I'm sure if you had an exact vertical tunnel that has blocks to even the sides, you could just free fall and potentially reach there a lot faster. In the lower right corner, you can see that the planet's gravity is decreasing the closer we get to the center. And we're approximately 7.4 kilometers from where we started at the beacon. Interestingly, as we get closer to the core of the planet, the temperature drastically starts warming up, and you'll see it on the screen close to the gravity indicator.
we are 30% down on our gravity at approximately 18,000 meters. Not too bad so far. We're definitely closer to that area we saw earlier. And our beacon is a lot farther away. There should be more clarity as we get closer. Check this out. Hey, look, it's the moon. Interesting. Moving on. Mm, no change yet. Looks like we're about 24,000 meters at this point. Well, better continue forward. As you can see, the temperature has now changed from warm to hot, and we are at 25,000 meters. Of course, this distance may vary depending on where you started on the Earth-like planet's surface. If you start on top of a mountain, it will probably indicate a lot farther distance than if you started on a low-level surface such as an ice form or the desert. I definitely recommend, if you do this in survival mode, to use a ship or an interesting rover to get through here that has plenty of power. Otherwise, you may find your suit dying pretty quickly and your health will run out. This is mainly due to the extreme temperatures you're going to encounter as you go closer to the core.
Now we're approximately only 30 on our gravity and our beacon is about 42,000 meters. That means we only have about 18,000 meters to go. Whoa, that was kind of random. Maybe it's the heat from the inner core of the planet that's causing everything to glow. That's not just my headlights. See, you see my lights here and then boom, bright light. I'll just turn off these lights now and see how far we can go. is a very interesting feature that they made a certain part of the core actually glow like this. Drastically increases the realism. I suppose it would have been more difficult to simulate a liquid core, but adding light kind of gives you that perception. If you were to take a rover through here and continuously drill until you get to the core, you may have to add some atmospheric thrusters like I did in order to continuously push it forward through the gravity line. Or if you're just using stationary drills, you could always manage it that way too. It will just take a long time to build. As you can see, we have reached the point of heat where it is now an inferno temperature. This is about the barrier line here, and that's approximately 48,000 meters. I can inch closer to it, and then you'll see when it switches. Yep, there it is. Like I said, if you don't have a rover or a small ship going through here, your suit's not going to last. It's going to burn up very quickly and expel all the electrical power trying to keep you cool. I kind of like these glitches in here because you can see the outside and sometimes spot a few planets around. We're almost at 10% of our gravity, so accelerating through here is quite simple with the jetpack at this point. If a person does try to build a tunnel all the way to the core, they're definitely going to exceed their PCU limit. So you may have to do this in experimental mode, you can still be in survival mode, but then adjust your PCU limit to unlimited. Might make it a little bit harder on your computer to process the graphics, but at least it's doable. It seems to have gotten darker again.
As the vessel ran out of gravity, it didn't drill correctly or in a straight line as much through the tunnel. That's why there were some offsets. And there we have it. We're at the center of the earth. And there's our drilling rig. I've added a refinery here and was planning on building a few tunnels to be able to make it back to the surface. I may or may not go with a stationary flow or I might just use a modified version of the drilling tunneling machine as a welder instead added with a projector in order to continuously build the tunnel directly downward. Of course I'll have to straighten out the tunnel at the same time but it shouldn't be difficult as long as we have enough drilling heads and welders on it. As you can see, our gravity is 0.01, .01 and we are not in space. We are deep underground. There's the long line that took us all the way from the top beacon all the way back down at approximately 60,000 meters. This is a vertical line. It just doesn't show very well when I'm in this viewing mode. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you leave your tips and tricks in the comments section below. I appreciate it.